commonly called the feast day of the days of holy convocation. I thank God to be alive on this day because I know that tomorrow is not promised to anyone. I thank God for food, food, raiment, and shelter. But above all, I thank God for our mind to serve Him in spirit and in truth. I thank God that on yesterday I was able to return to college to finish out my last year. Amen. Amen. Blessing. Amen. At the age of 21, to have the mind that I do, and I thank God for that. He's the one. At this time, the testimony meeting is now open for anyone that wants to sing and or testify in the spirit of prophecy.
thank the Lord for all the health and strength he has given me. I want to thank him for a mind to do his will. I want to thank the Lord for having three of my 11 grandchildren in the house with me for a 4 o'clock service, also our 6 o'clock service. They were really excited about getting up every morning. I want to thank the Lord for all the food, raiment, and shelter. I want to thank the Lord also that we were able to have good weather, that we were able to be here every day of the Holy Convocation. I want to thank the Lord for everything that has gone on this past year in the Church of God and Saints of Christ. I just want to ask the Lord to please pray for me, ask the saints to please pray for me. I'm scheduled to go up under this surgery January 21st. That's the reason why I'm not in my place. The doctor told me, he said, Barbara, you'll be out of work for 12 weeks. So start crying right away because that's not me to be out of work. He said, well, you don't have a death job. I said, well, you know, I have to get my team together. The Lord is first, then I'll get the rest of you. Because working in this hospital, I know what goes on in this hospital. I've got my surgeon, my anesthesiologist, my anesthetist, my circulator, my scrub nurse. They're all, I've got them all together. But I know the Lord is on top, and I will come out of here. All right, please pray for me. I'm glad to be here on the last day of the Holy Convocation. Christ and Spirit of Prophecy. I'm just thanking him for today, for keeping me, um, that I may be able to live to see another holy convocation. Amen. I'm thanking him for sparing my kids' life, that uh, they have, he has blessed them, that there hasn't been any harm or danger to befall them. I thank the Lord that he's given us food, rain, and shelter, and a mind to do so. I'm also thanking the Lord for our last evening, the scripture that I was able to read. Amen. I was just going through the Bible as I was um, in the bathroom, that's like my reading place, and I came across uh, Galatians, the third chapter of Galatians. And I came to a scripture that said, um, if you be Christ, uh -huh. then are you Abraham's seed. And ye are heirs according to his promise. Yeah. And I start reading the promises of God. Thank and you. I start thinking about the promises yeah. that God has given us. The right. promises that he has kept. Yeah. And I'm thanking yeah. that for all the things that he has bestowed upon me and my children. Yeah. I know that the Lord has a lot in store for us um, oh, yeah. this past year. And I'm just thanking the Lord because, um, right. you know, I see my daughters growing up. And I'm just hoping that they listen to the right things in the church. You know, I say for Christ. You know, my five-year-old should not have to come home and say, Mom, why do you still say this? I said, Shanique, well, a testimony is for Jesus. Amen. 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 And I'm just thanking the Lord because, you know, a testimony should be what God has done for you. And I'm just thanking the Lord because today I can to give in a testimony for Jesus. And I'm thanking him because I don't have to worry about what nobody says about me. Because I know what God is doing for me. And I'm thanking the Lord because I'm raising my children alone. And I know that I'm doing a good job. I don't need them to tell me that I'm doing a good job. Because I'm doing the best that I can do. And I'm just thanking the Lord. And I just ask the same, you know, to um, continue to pray for my family. And also to watch things that you say in front of the children. Amen. You know, the children are watching you. Amen. You know, people shouldn't say things out loud to children. Amen. The children that come home and have to question, why does so and so say this? And I'm just saying that more because I don't take that home with me. You know, Amen. certain things that I say to my kids, we keep at home. And I'm just thanking the Lord that he has done so much for me in my lifetime. I'm thanking him for keeping my grandfather. Amen. 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 Amen.
all through the week, I just Man. really enjoyed myself in the Lord. Man. My best day, my best day in the world came. Touch me, my fast day. Yeah. Serving the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so good. Go ahead. Thank right. God. Right. Right. Spare my life to be here last <coughs> seven days of the Holy Month. Right. Right. And thank God for being here this year. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. And I have awareness today with Father and his steps. I know today that that's the truth of the way I live. I want to thank God for all the blessings he bestowed upon me. Thank yeah. God for my daughter, for my grandson, my daughter, my sister. I'm going to serve the Lord with them with and all the saints. I just have a joyful time. And uh, oh, I just thank God, you know, to be here. Uh, and, uh, Turn away from the ways of the world. Thank you, Lord, for the bishop and the uh, deacons, mm -hmm. Grandpa Abraham, and the pastor. Uh, I just want to thank you for um, I want to thank everybody for just learning me about. Love the Lord. Amen. 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 This is the Church of God of Faith and Praise. Truly, I'm glad the Lord has spared my life and has allowed me to come to the house of the Lord where I, on the last day of the Holy Convocation. And truly, I have had a rejoicing time and I have enjoyed each and every one Amen. because these are the days of giving God special thanks. Amen. And you know, when people go to the ball game and hockey game, they, they just go on and have a good time.
Yes. Even when I'm not worthy of it. Amen. Because I know that I'm not worthy of it. But he does that goodness anyway. I don't want to, you know, go a little extra mile with you. I want to do a little more. I want to be greater next year than what I am than what I was this past year. I also want to thank the Lord for a saint this year who really meant a lot to me. And um, that saint for Barton Baskin, she doesn't know what she did for me. She just pulled me and pulled me until she got me involved in something that was a uh, medication to me, that was soothing to me, that had helped me. And uh, I, I just thank God because I love the beauty of the whole earth, the sky, the water, the earth. I love his creation. I tell you, I just love everything that he does. I pray in your strength, much the Lord, you pray also for me. Amen.
Lord, I thank you for that on the seventh day of Holy Convocation to stand and give a testimony in Jesus Christ and Spirit of Prophecy. Thank the Lord for that song because I know that God is through with me yet. Amen. And when He gets through with me, I shall come forth as pure as Amen. Thank the Lord for all the many blessings that He's bestowed upon me. Thank the Lord for the difference in my life from last year up until this present time. Amen. Thank the Lord for all the blessings that He's bestowed upon me, those that I'm aware of and those that I'm unaware of. Amen. Thank the Lord for just keeping me. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to recognize who he is and what he can do. Amen. Because God has done some awesome things in my life. Amen. And I'm just thanking him and thanking Amen. him and giving him all the praise and glory and honor because I know to God be the glory for the things that he's done. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. <coughs> seek ye first the kingdom of God and righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Thank you, Lord, for... Uh, just having memories and thanking the Lord for the memories that I have of my mother, the beautiful person that she was in my life, Amen. And, and for the beautiful person that she tried to be in her Christian life. Amen. And also thankful to the Lord for the family that I have, for the support Amen. that they give me, Amen. and just asking God to, to bless me and to bless them that we have a better understanding of things. Amen. Amen. And, 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 you know, to open my mind to open their mind to things. Also, thank the Lord for my church family and, and for the support that they give me and the encouragement. Encouragement, because encouraging words are always something that can be said. And everyone needs an encouraging word. And I'm just grateful for for the gifts that God gives me. I'm thankful to God for allowing me to have a, a thing for children. And I'm, I'm just grateful that I try to do what I can for the children here in our tabernacle. And just asking God um, to continue to bless me and to strengthen me and to make me the person and the parent that he has me. Yeah. Yeah. Also, ask the Lord to uh, bless the saints that travel the highways and byways to be here for the day of holy convocation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, Proverbs three five and six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, yeah. and not to your own understanding. Yeah. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct that thing.
uh, I know that I should have been. Mm -hmm. um,
something just keep I know the Holy Spirit. I gotta get up and I've been praying for different ones. Yeah. Sometimes the Lord will tell me to pray for it, and sometimes I just pray. Yeah. Sometimes he'll tell me, uh, just keep moving in his name. Yeah. But I thank him for it. Yeah. The afflictions that I had, nobody but God kept me. Yeah. And I thank him for it. And I thank God for every saint in the church of God is saying to pray. For being on the case that I have, I thank God for the saints and the singers and the ministers. Put my tapes in. Sometimes I was down in my cell. That's the way I felt laid in my bed. Put them tapes in. I thank God for St. Lord. You got me up one morning like that. I hope I saw all that. So right. I shut it. So I right. can't say Praise the Lord. I have my, like somebody said, they, they, they have it, uh, have their whatever with them. I keep my tape. And wherever I go, I try to play my tape. All right. Because some days you ain't always high. Man. Sometimes you don't be low. Sometimes Man. you don't get to the house. You got to hear something. Yeah. You got to read something to yeah. bring you up. It's all right. And I thank God. I think Lori brought me up that morning. Maybe right. I was saying this. Yeah. But I mentioned her because she's going through her battle. Yeah. Yeah. And I thank God for the Lord in the back. Melinda. Yeah. Yeah. You're going through your battle, children. Yeah. But God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let your left hand go and try and go and I can tell that to my kids. Yeah. What goes on 